we're going to do a braised groundhog recipe with the front of a groundhog. Uh, the two hind legs would make for a much nicer presentation, but uh, the front will work just fine. And we're going to throw in a few um, stalks from some field garlic uh, since the bulbs were too tiny to use, um, and a few dandelions and some clover for garnish. Also going to throw in a few mushrooms and we'll braise it in some wild game stock and some white wine. So the first thing we're going to do is poke a few holes in the legs of the groundhog. We'll just allow everything to work in there. So we're just going to season with some salt and pepper. Now we're going to brown all the pieces of meat. Alright, we'll just add in the mushrooms to brown. Alright, so we're just going to deglaze the pan with some white wine. Scrape up all the goodness in the bottom. And add in some stock. Bring that to a boil. So just add in the field garlic. Uh, I wouldn't use more than a small handful of stalks because it can be pretty potent. Now I'll just add in the meat. Go ahead and turn that off. Everything's added, so we're just gonna put a cap on it and throw it in the oven at 300 degrees for about two and a half to three hours. Just go ahead and plate the groundhog on a bed of uh, whatever side you would like and garnish it with the dandelion and clover you collected and enjoy.